So I recently sold my Apple Watch on eBay. Now, to be honest, I thought I'd done everything correctly. Apple support pages actually have a section for selling your Apple Watch, which says all you need to do is unpair the watch from your Apple Watch app on your phone. Open the app on your phone, make sure you're on the My Watches tab, click on All Watches, followed by the information icon, and then choose Unpair Apple Watch. You'll be prompted for your Apple ID, and according to Apple, this should unpair the watch, remove it from your account, and disable activation lock. So you can imagine my surprise when I was told by the person who I sold it to that the activation lock was still applied. The problem I had now was that I no longer had access to the watch, and it was no longer paired with my Apple Watch app. So I googled the problem again, and Apple has a solution for this too. They say if you have already given your Apple Watch away, log into iCloud.com, open the Find My iPhone app, click on All Devices, choose your watch from the list, and then choose Erase Apple Watch. I won't do it because this is my new watch we're looking at, but according to Apple, this should do the trick, erasing the data on your watch and removing the activation lock. However, this didn't solve my problem because my watch was no longer displayed in my list of devices. I couldn't access it in my finder, but the activation lock was still enabled. So if you find yourself in this situation where you need to remove activation lock from a watch you no longer have access to, and it no longer appears in your Find My Devices, you do have one final option, and that is to contact Apple. Browse to al-support.apple.com to get to this page. Note you'll need to provide the receipt from when you bought your watch, which luckily was in my email from years ago, and the serial number of the watch, which, if you can't find it, is located on the back of the box. Fill in the details and click Continue. You'll be asked to upload a copy of your receipt from when you purchased the watch and a brief explanation of the situation. Once submitted, you'll receive a confirmation email with a support number. It took Apple three days to get back to me, but eventually they did unlock my watch and everything worked out fine. One final thing to mention is never be tempted to give your Apple ID credentials to someone you don't know to remove the lock. Thankfully, the person I sold my watch to was willing to wait, but they did ask if they could just use my Apple ID and password. Just bear in mind that you likely have your bank account and address details linked to the account, not to mention photos and lots of other data stored to iCloud. So by giving someone your credentials, they can potentially access all of this information. And if they were being particularly malicious, they could then try and change your password, locking you out of your account altogether. So I highly recommend not giving your credentials to unlock a watch unless you really do trust that person. So that is how to remove the activation lock on an Apple Watch. If you're new to my channel, you might be interested in checking out 10 apps that you can install to make yourself a little bit of money on the side, or 10 apps to make yourself a bit smarter. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe. Lots more of the same. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.